So about this much, but there's more to it. So we're inside of the Slant 3D Mega Farm, which is spec'd out to have over 3,000 machines. Right now we're running less than that, but we're still using quite a bit of filament. But what actually drives the amount of filament that we actually burn? There's a lot of factors to it. There's seasonality, there's the amount of filament that an individual machine actually moves, and then there are ah, the individual part itself. So let's start with the seasonality. We do a lot of print-on-demand for customers, so customers will just send us an individual order at a time through our various softwares, and when that order comes through, a machine will fire up, print the part, and ship it out. With those kind of items, we are trying to operate as about as fast as Amazon in order to be a true digital warehouse. So when an order comes in during the Christmas season, we try to get it out and shipped in about two to three days. That kind of seasonality has a big old spike to it at certain parts of the year or when a particular product goes viral. So just like server farms that are designed for peak capacity when a video goes viral and YouTube has to make sure that everybody can actually watch it, we design our print farms so that they have excess capacity when something has really high demand so that we can still deliver in that really quick amount of time. And at those times, we burn more filament than we normally would. Down at the per part level though, there are parts that use very little material but use a lot of print time. So a miniature, like a castle, where it prints a single spire but then it moves to a different spire and prints that and then back and forth, back and forth, that doesn't use a lot of material but it uses a lot of print farms. So while our capacity is fully utilized making all those little castles, uh, we're not really using that much material. Then there's the low resolution part, something like tooling jigs, where they use a lot of material very quickly because it's a solid part printed at a low resolution, so the flow rate is much higher. In those cases, we would use a lot of material. So it really varies based on what kind of products we're actually running and the time of the year based on how many machines we're actually running. But ultimately, it comes down to we just use a lot of filament. These are 35 kilogram spools. They weigh about 80 pounds for the American viewers. They're a lot of filament. We generally keep a one or two tons of filament just stored up so that we can address those spikes very easily without having to work with suppliers or run our own extrusion lines some more. And then we always have like sampling filament stored up so that we can run out quick prototypes or custom colors or very niche colors very quickly. So ultimately, how much filament does a giant print farm use? Just a lot, literally a ton. Thanks everybody for watching that video. Let us know down in the comments if there's other topics that you'd like us to talk about. Slant 3D is a mass production 3D printing farm, so we have a, a lot of access to lots of printers and different kinds of machinery. So if there's something that you are interested in about the infrastructure of giant print farms, let us know. Have a great day, everybody.